Hey guys, welcome to this first video on Dynamics of Markets. In this video, we will look at what a market is and we will also tackle a bit of utility. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So it is important that we understand exactly what a market is and a market is a place where buyers and sellers they can come together to exchange goods and services. So it's important to note that a market does not necessarily just mean a physical market. It can also be a virtual one. So a physical market is when we go to the shop, we exchange money for a good. A virtual market can be a stock market. So if we use one in South Africa, we look at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange or the JSE, and there they exchange or buy and sell shares in companies. All right, so that is also a market. And there are certain activities which occur within these markets. And this is where buyers and sellers, they can exchange information on what, hum, on what a good is or how much they are going to sell it for. There are prices and quantities which are determined. And then also the amount of goods and services that will be bought or sold will also be determined. So these are some activities which occur in these markets. So there are import some important concepts that we need to know when we, as we carry on in this topic. One of them is value. So a value looks at the maximum amount of money that a person is willing and able to pay for a good. And these are expressed in South Africa in the rands and cents. And there's also a little calculation that you should know on how to calculate value. And the value is equal to your price times your quantity. So please know that little uh, calculation is important for you to know. The next one is price. We know that price is the actual amount which is paid for a good or service. And it is determined by the interaction between demand and supply. And then another important concept which you need to know is utility. Now utility is the degree of satisfaction that occurs from the consumption of a good or a service. So the key word there being satisfaction of a good. And there we can see Homer Simpson enjoying his donuts. So looking at some characteristics of utility. So utility, it differs from person to person. So this means that one person might enjoy a good where another person might not enjoy that same good. Utility is not necessarily useful or it does not mean that a product is useful. If we use cigarettes or alcohol as an example, people derive satisfaction from those goods. However, it is not necessarily useful. Utility differs from time to time. So we might use a certain product at a different times. For example, a flashlight we we'll only use in the nighttime rather than the daytime. And then it also differs from place to place, meaning that we have certain products which we use in one area and not in another area. We can use the example of a, a snow jacket where we would use a snow jacket more in the northern hemisphere than in the southern hemisphere. So those are some characteristics in which you should know of utility. So then we want to see how do we measure this utility? How do we put it into practice? And this is where total utility comes in. So this is the utility which is derived from all the units that we have consumed in succession. Okay, so it looks at how much satisfaction we have after consuming a good right after each other. So we are craving some donuts. So we go to the shop, we buy a half a dozen of donuts, and there we see our satisfaction levels per unit of donut consumed. 
So after the first donut, we we have a utility of 16, that we are satisfied, we are happy. But now we see, okay, we still have some more donuts to eat. So we have a second donut. There, our utility for the second one is 28 units of utility. So it's added on to the 16 from our first unit. We then see, okay, we're going to have some more donuts. We have our third and our fourth donut, and you see that our utility is still increasing. But then we see, all right, uh, we're going to have a fifth donut. We don't know if we want to, but we will just have a fifth donut. And we see it's still at 40. That means that our total utility has not increased from the fourth to the fifth unit. So our level of satisfaction has now reached its maximum point. We cannot become more satisfied with eating more donuts. Because there we see that we see a sixth donut and we like, oh, I'm not 100%, but I'm going to eat it anyway. And after we eat that donut, we start to feel a bit sick, which is why our total utility, or rather our satisfaction, has started to decrease from 40 to 36. We would then like to see what our total satisfaction is after consuming a, an additional amount of donuts. And this is where marginal utility comes in. Marginal utility is derived from the additional unit of a good that was consumed. Okay, so we are now measuring our level of satisfaction after consuming more goods. So if we look at our table there, we've added the marginal utility column. So there we get a better idea of the amount of satisfaction that we receive after consuming more goods. So after the first one, right, we said that our total utility is 16, therefore our marginal utility is 16 because we cannot compare our first unit to anything else. Then we have our second donut. After eating our second donut, our total utility was at 28. Now to find the marginal utility, we need to find the difference in total utility from unit 2 to unit 1. And the difference there is 12, which is why you see a 12 at margin utility at the second unit of donuts. And we'll do the same for units 3 and 4. The difference between unit 3 and 2 is 8. The difference between unit 4 and 3 is 4. And then if we get to unit 5, we see that our total utility is the same as level 4. So that's why our utility is at zero, which illustrates that we are completely satisfied. And remember, we said that we we'll feel start of, or rather, we start to feel sick after eating our sixth donut, which is why we then see a disutility, or rather, a negative utility. So we are then less satisfied when we have our sixth level of, or our sixth unit of donuts. And so we look at this positive utility, which is from units 1 to 4. We look at our fifth unit of donuts, which we consume, and that's our maximum level of satisfaction. And then our negative utility is when we have too many donuts and we start to feel sick. So that concludes our first video on Dynamics of Markets. I hope you learned something. Please keep safe and see you guys soon.